Back this evening, the Springfield City Council puts the brakes on a vote for a development on the city's north side because of an overlooked code provision. Fox 49 Shania Tomlin is live from City Hall with reactions to tonight's meeting. That's right. Neighbors I spoke with said that they are happy that the development won't be built and councilmen are saying that they apologize to everyone in the situation. There is no action that City Council can take this evening regarding the application for preliminary plan development. At Monday night City Council meeting, councilmen plan to decide the fate of a development happening near Grant and Talmadge in North Springfield. But due to a technicality found by the city staff, the development can no longer happen. With City Code Section 36-405F, that provision states that if council fails to act within 30 days following the conclusion of the public hearing on a preliminary plan development, the preliminary plan development shall be deemed denied. Developer Mike Stalzer can no longer move forward unless he starts the process all over again. The developer can file a new application. Uh, the code does not prohibit that. Um, the developer can uh, file an application actually rather quickly. There's no limit in the code on how quickly they, he can refile an application. The developer planned to buy the gym and soccer field owned by Baptist Temple and use the over six acres of space for apartments and homes. The build has caused a bit of an issue for neighbors as they feel they haven't had a say in the development that will be near their homes. Tonight, they go home with a victory. It was relief. Um, the, we have quite a few people from the neighborhood here tonight. Most of us have lived there for years and years. Um, we don't want an apartment complex in there. Neighbors say that the fight is now over for them and that they will have to wait and see what's next for the land. We are hoping that if a, de a developer comes in that wants to do something with that property, that maybe they would just put some single family homes in. We're hoping that uh, another development is more fitting in the neighborhood. The neighbors say that the work that they put into getting this development paused has helped them come together as a community. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Shadiah Tomlin, Ozarks First.